ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to do a tag video. It is called, um, I believe it's just called the makeup tag, but it's like the three question makeup tag. So if you guys would like to uh, stick around and uh, hear what my answers are, keep on watching. tagged by uh, Marta Zayas. I think that's how you say her name. If I'm mispronouncing it, I do apologize, uh, Marta, because I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. So if I am mispronouncing it, I do apologize. That is who tagged me. I will put a link down below to her channel and you can go and check her out. Maybe show her some love and subscribe. Give her some thumbs up. She does a little uh, variety of different things on her channel. She does share some makeup. Uh, she definitely shares a good bit of skincare. Uh, she's really into the organic kind of skincare. She does live in Florida. I believe she lives in Florida. Yes. And she's taking you around like in her area. Her videos are pretty nice, sweet, and short. You know, just right to the point, sweet and short. And she just shows you the item. You know, is she enjoying it? Does, is it working out for her? Is it not? And she is a very very upbeat bubbly person so let's go ahead and get to the questions because i don't want this to be a really long video or anything like that it says describe an event uh in your childhood where you came in contact with makeup for the very first time so the very first time i got i came in contact with makeup i would have to say probably my sister <laughs> i did she is like 10 years older than me. She always had the perfume and just different things on her dresser and of course some makeup. She didn't wear a lot of makeup. I will say my sister was not one that wore a lot of makeup. She wasn't somebody, and even down to this day, I don't even think she really wears too much makeup. So she really didn't fully get full blown into it. I remember her having an eyeshadow. Uh, there was like a quad or trio or something. And of course, the all famous powder blue eyeshadow, probably it was because she came from the 60s and, and, out, and even in the 70s, I think they still wore that maybe. But um, the all famous powder blue eyeshadow was my first thing <laughs> that I actually put on my eyes and tried out. I, hmm, I was probably maybe nine or 10, nine or 10, something like that. And also, I think some kind of form of lip gloss uh, was another item that I went ahead and used. I think that was kind of my first uh, feel for makeup. And I, I don't even know if she ever knew that. <laughs> I don't even know if she ever knew that I got into her makeup like that. But like I said, she barely ever wore it. So she probably wouldn't even notice anyway you know i didn't wear it all the time it was just i was trying you know i was curious you know you know how you are when you're curious when you're very young or a teenager or anything and you're curious on something so yeah i was very curious describe a makeup related event in your childhood or teenage years that did not go as well as you thought boy let me think here of um, a moment where my makeup didn't go as well. The only one that comes to mind, and I think I was about 14, 13 or 14, and I was trying out eyeliner. I don't, I never really tried eyeliner. It was funny. I, when I first started doing makeup, I'd just do like eyeshadow or mascara and things like that. Um, I just gradually got into stuff as I went. And the, the one thing, yeah, was eyeliner. When I applied it on my eyes, I did it, I, I made, made the line on my lid too big, like oversized it, like made it too big. And then I went down below my lash line, like not in the waterline area, but below my, and really worked heavy there. And I remember somebody <laughs> saying to me, <laughs> That like they're like well, what you know like are you going to some kind of like, basically referring to uh, Dracula or gothic kind of a look you know or something because um, on my tight line it was just pure you know like it was all white but I had all this black all around I mean I probably literally looked like somebody that like when they put that black um, paint or paint black stuff on you know like if somebody's looking through uh, binoculars and they you know, put that black stuff on there and, 
you know what I mean? Like they play a joke on you and you have them black rings. That's probably what I looked like. And it was pretty much, yeah, total epic, epic fail. That one really is the one that sticks out to me the most is that one. It really was not a good thing at all. And for a long time, I would not wear eyeliner. I wouldn't even put it on because I literally wasn't sure if I was putting it on right and didn't know what to do. So yeah, it was kind of funny. When you hit 80 or 90, will you wear makeup? And if so, what makeup would you be wearing? Honestly, honestly, I've, I'm, I plan on wearing makeup forever in the day. I, I mean, I think the only way I wouldn't wear makeup is if I got pretty much, you know, pretty ill for the items that I would wear. I don't know if I'd wear so much eyeshadows then. It depends. I think it's just really going to depend how well my skin ages along with me getting to that point. Hopefully I do make it to that point in life. And I know definitely lipstick or some, some form of lipstick I would be wearing. Foundations at that point, who knows? We'll see. I almost sometimes pictured myself of wearing just tinted moisturizers or things like that. Um, but foundations stepped up their game now. So I guess we'll just really have to see because honestly, I don't know. I, I see myself wearing makeup until until the end of time for myself. You know, that's pretty much how I see it. I'm going to rock it as long as I can rock it. So yeah. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, that is it for the questions. I'm going to tag a couple of people um, that I know that probably would, would like to do the tag or do like to do tags as well. So I'm going to tag Glitzy Fritzy Mary. I'm going to tag you, Mary, because you always tag a whole bunch of us and I know you love doing some tags and everything. So I'd like to hear your stories of your, you know, your first moments of putting on makeup and then like your epic fail, maybe the time when you're a teenager to, are you going to wear some makeup? You know, so I, I want to hear, I'm going to tag Glitzy Fritzy Mary. You know what? I'm going to tag Susie Q. Uh, Susie Q. Uh, I forget what she has. Susie Q. I think that's how she has her channel. I'll have to look because she did recently cha change it, but I'll have a link to her channel down below. Susie, I tag you for this also because I'd like to hear some of your answers. I think it would be a fun one to hear. She does her little porch set in uh, Sundays, so uh, she always gives us some good stories. So yeah, I'm going to tag you, Susie. I'm going to pick one more person here. I'm going to tag Trish Oliver. I know Trish likes to do some tags sometimes, and I'm curious. I want to hear Trish too. I want to hear like when, you know, her first experience with makeup, because she does do uh, makeup. She has some clients, and she does do makeup and everything. So I'd like to hear when her first passion came for makeup. And so I try to tag Glitzy Fritzy Mary, Susie Q, and Trish Oliver. I tag all three of you guys to do this. I'll have the uh, questions down below so that you guys can copy them and, and kind of go off from there. And I tag anybody else, anybody else that wants to do this, I would love to hear your answers too. Um, so just consider yourself tagged and let them know that I tagged you. And that's about it. So, and thank you, Marty, for tagging me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I had fun doing this. It was just something simple and something quick of some questions to answer. So, all right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And don't forget to share as well. Please share my videos. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I would love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.